General Hayden, uh, Luke Radowski, AVTM. Yeah. Uh, my first question is, uh, when you were head of the NSA, uh, NSA officials were caught listening to people's private sex phone conversations for kicks. How do you respond to such gross violations of privacy? Uh, I really don't have anything to say about that. That story's been run and yeah. been investigated, and I'm sure the agency has taken appropriate action. Uh, have they been held accountable? I, that all happened at after I left. Why should Americans have their Done. privacy violated? I never thought I'd be following a CIA agent. I'm actually following the CIA director as it leaves the Senate building. Mr. Hayden, I do have to ask you though. I mean, why don't Americans deserve the right to privacy? Americans do have the right to privacy. But not if the NSA listens into every single conversation we have and records it. That, that's simply not true. I mean, they have they have their own floors on the in, in Verizon and AT and T and T Mobile. They have their own floors. Oh, we're done. I'm not done, sir, because I want you know freedom and privacy, and you made sure that we don't have any. I mean, how do how do you, how do you, how, do you, how can you say we have privacy when it's used against us? How can you justify spying on all of Americans? I mean, this is America. We still have the Constitution, sir. Innocent until proven guilty, not guilty until proven innocent. The former CIA and NSA had just told you you have privacy and I have a bridge to sell you. I mean, the man seven months before 9-11 created the domestic telephone call database that tracked every single phone call that was made in the United States without a warrant. I mean, this is nothing new. I mean, they did this to Martin Luther King who when he was having his phone sex conversations with his mistresses, they recorded it. And when MLK was in jail, they actually called Mrs. King and played those conversations for her. The only scary thing right now is how out in the open and defiant they are on spying on every single American. That's why we have to show these criminals we are not afraid of your lawlessness and we will not stand for it.